uh, welcome this is video number 273 environmental valuation lecture number 12 in a series of uh, lectures on environmental and uh, resource economics uh, valuation is uh, one of the most important areas of uh, natural resource and uh, environmental economics uh, let me tell you in the beginning that uh, environmental valuation should not be confused with the uh, environmental evaluation because there is difference between valuation and uh, evaluation so uh, we must keep this in mind so let us start with the uh, what environmental valuation is it is the process of putting monetary values on environmental goods and services many of which have no market prices uh, their examples include a uh, scenic view of an area, coral reefs, mountain vistas, biodiversity in general as well as biodiversity as uh, reflect in special species like whales, elephants, coral reefs, bald eagles or plants etc. Environmental goods and services also include many indirect processes such as watersheds and water supply, forests and uh, carbon sequestration and erosion control ecosystem conservation and maintenance of uh, genetic material in order to value these goods and services economists have developed various valuation techniques and uh, one general typology of these techniques is uh, as follows these techniques are based on changes in the production or productivity such as in the case of agricultural lands forestries forestry fisheries or uh, human health etc uh, te uh, these techniques use survey based information to estimate values and uh, these stated preferences techniques are usually referred to as uh, contingent valuation methods abbreviated as CVM and then we have revealed preference techniques that use hedonic markets to estimate values which include property value and approaches the land uh, uh, and uh, value approaches and the land value approaches and then surrogate market approaches that includes the travel cost method that is another revealed preference um, approach all of these techniques are well developed and uh, widely used by economists to value uh, various environmental goods and uh, services we can measure all are part of the value of different environmental resources uh, one useful concept is that of total economic value uh, which explicitly recognizes that the total economic value of a good or service is composed of uh, different parts some of which are tangible and directly used and some of which are intangible and uh, very remote traditionally total economic value is uh, presented in a chart in uh, the next slide where uh, tev is divided between use value and uh, non-use non value and these are usually uh, the non-use values are usually defined as bequest values and uh, existence values i'll uh, discuss these uh, in detail uh, straddling the space between use values and uh, non-use values is option value the value to a person of having the option open for future use he may not be using this uh, resource uh, in uh, present but he may like to use this uh, resource in future so he also put some value on that and that value is known as a uh, option value uh, this is how total economic value is uh, subdivided into different uh, values uh, here we have use values and the uh, use value means that the, these include uh, direct use values and uh, indirect use values and then on the left hand side there are non use values and these include uh, existence value and uh, bequest values and in between the use values and non-use values uh, this option value and as, as i dis as i discussed earlier uh, sometime we may not use a resource in the present but we may value that resource because we may use it in future here is another uh, figure of uh, total economic uh, valuation so again total economic value is uh, classified as a uh, use value and non-use value and then under non-use value we have direct use value and that uh, includes up outputs that can be consumed directly and then under indirect use value we have functional benefits and uh, under option value we have future direct and indirect use and uh, under bequest value 
we have value of leaving uh, use of non use and uh, values uh, to offspring that is for the future generation and uh, then there is the existence value knowledge of continue existence or some cultural value uh, there is a uh, again another schedule in which you see total economic values with the example so use values uh, include direct use value and that uh, the examples are food biomass recreation health and there under uh, indirect use value we have flood control storm protection nutrient cycle and under option value we have biodiversity conserved habitats for future generation or for future time and then under the bequest value we have use and non use value of environmental legacy habitats prevention of irreversible change existent value value from knowledge of continued existence and that may include habitat species genetic ecosystems and uh, so on there are four last thoughts on environmental valuation so what are these uh, we must keep in mind these four uh, thoughts on um, environmental valuation first economic valuation reflects people's and society's values these values are uh, frequently partial and imperfect and in that case uh, these value may be uh, based on uh, willingness to pay or willingness to accept the traditional lack of markets for many environmental goods and services is now slowly changing and increasing opportunities exist for people to express their desires via market forces the second thought on environmental valuation uh, is that markets are still not well developed for many environmental goods and services especially for those with long term and uh, diffuse impacts uh, one may think of avoided climate change coral bleaching or uh, chronic pollution of air water for these uh, kind of services or uh, things we don't have uh, well developed markets because of the public good nature of these goods and services there are tendencies uh, both to underestimate their importance due to lack of knowledge and uh, understate one's willingness to pay to address them uh, because of uh, free rider problem so since many environmental goods and services have uh, public goods nature so there are uh, there arises a uh, free rider problem the third thought regarding environmental valuation is that many e economic valuation methods are quite mature and uh, well tested and widely used in a wide range of situations economists have developed uh, contingent valuation method travel cost method hedonic pricing delphi method uh, in various situations and many more methods are also used by economists to uh, put monetary value on environmental goods and uh, services the fourth and the last thought on environmental valuation is a major challenge remains in translating solid research results into practical and understandable policy advice this has often been a weakness and as economists we can do much about this that is useful and uh, even if at times it may mean simplifying a message and leaving some of the elegance to tailors so these are some thoughts uh, on uh, environmental relation but, uh, but but as i mentioned earlier uh, like uh, market failure externalities and uh, others uh, environmental uh, valuation is also one of the most important areas of uh, natural resource and uh, environmental economics uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, click on this uh, head, uh, red button and uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you you can get uh, early notification about my usual usual useful uh, videos that i'll upload for you uh, in the coming time uh, please uh, share these videos with your friends colleagues and uh, if you like this video give, give, give us a thumbs up thank you very much for watching this video